Hi guys, my name is Marta. I'm currently 27 weeks pregnant with non-identical twin boys and I would like to tell you something about my 25th and 26th week of pregnancy. So, um, probably the biggest highlight of the, of the 25th week was that the uh, survival rate in case of premature birth is already 80%. So it's a great relief. Obviously I'm hoping that boys will come as late as possible. I want to keep them in my belly until minimum 38 weeks. <laughs> but um, it's a great relief to know that in case they were delivered now, they would have a big chance to survive. There were lots of things that happened in those two weeks. My husband had birthday, uh, we went to party uh, with our friends, so a grill party. Probably uh, the most scary and nasty thing that has happened was uh, getting my uh, glucose screening results. So uh, my, my one hour glucose test came uh, 165 and the norm is 135 so they sent me to a three hour test which I was afraid <laughs> of because I thought that you have to drink the nasty beverage uh, three times but no I was relieved to learn that you, that you have to drink it only once and then they test your blood three times after drinking it like three every hour I just finished my physical therapy I was uh, referred by my OB uh, to physical therapy for my back uh, shoulders and my uh, migraines um, I've had only one migraine in two weeks so I think exercising and diet changes are helping so um, I think that one of my triggers was sugar uh, which I'm trying to limit now a lot and second trigger was probably tensed muscles I received lots of exercises to do on a daily basis and I swear I do them <laughs> and my shoulder blade uh, pain and my shoulders and, and uh, neck ache are gone I have to admit that mostly I had a pretty bad shoulder blade uh, pain by like four or five in the afternoon and now I usually don't have any. My body is obviously still changing, I'm growing, uh, my belly is getting heavier but I didn't have a need to wear the pregnancy belt yet because it's not that heavy and I don't have lower back pain so I'm hoping it will stay for longer like this. I've been having uh, menstruation cramps throughout my whole pregnancy I had menstruation cramps and the, what my doctor says is that it's because my uterus is stretching which would be logical <laughs> and um, I didn't have Braxton Hicks contractions yet maybe I won't have them I don't know I had as well uh, control with my I had as well a follow-up with my neurologist and he hopes that my migraine with aura will not repeat anymore I had a pretty bad um, attack which looked like a stroke so he's hoping that it won't repeat again we had a first appointment with Dula she she seems really great and she's pretty similar minded to me uh, which means that if we can we will try to deliver those boys naturally without epidural so um, Yeah, it's not an easy task, but I'm, I'm hoping that I'm going to do it But you know the most important thing for me is the health of boys So I will just do whatever needed. I got a pedi this week and I got a haircut Last Saturday we had our pregnancy photo shooting. It was super exciting and um, I'm hoping I'll be able to show you some pictures later on. Other than that I learned to cook a goulash and I made my first pavlova cake. 
they are so 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 easy to make and the weather is nice now so I'm able to go to swimming pool in our condominium uh, the swimming pool is already pretty warm it's like 80 ish degrees so um, I have no problems uh, getting in there and swimming other than that we are going to have a baby shower this Saturday so I'm super excited for that as well and that's that's all that's I guess I, that's all so not to forget the belly mm -hmm. yeah. It's getting bigger, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.